Hi there, today we're unboxing a video doorbell. So this particular one is by a company called Homeflow. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So this company sent me a catalog containing the products they actually have on offer. They have a good selection there. And if you were wondering what they have, just check out their website. So it's www.gethomeflow.com. So let's have a look at this video doorbell. So it comes very nicely packaged, picture of the actual doorbell there. A wire-free video doorbell, it says on there. Coming around here, HD video, motion detection, night vision, connects to your Wi-Fi two-way audio and supports micro SD cards up to 128 gig. Coming around here, nothing there. Picture of the video doorbell in action. That's it, if we come around the back, some details here. So the camera on this is 1080p, two megapixel, PIR range is six meters, night vision is infrared, wireless chime is included, so that's quite good. A lot of these devices don't include that. Battery capacity is 6,000 milliampers. Beam angle is 140 degrees and wireless frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. So this won't work on five gigahertz Wi-Fi. just to note. Also mentioned they provide a two year warranty with this. Other things to mention, motion detection, receive a notification and see, hear and speak. So that's it. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially we have a user manual. If I open that up, you can see details are in English. It shows the content that's in the box and the options on the doorbell itself. Turning it around, got some installation details and the app to install to use the video doorbell. So the app, they have their own one and it's called Homeflow. Next, we have a bag of fixtures. So three raw plugs and three screws. Next, we have a reset pin and a security screw. And if I bring that in close, you can just see it's like a star. And there's also a tool to assist with turning that to lock the back plate to the video doorbell. Next, we have two sticky pads just to show just short sticky pads on there. Next, we have a USB power brick and coming in close, you can see the output is five volts, one amp. The connection point is at the bottom. It's glossy black and build quality seems reasonably good. Next, we have a chime and that's six centimeters diameter and height is 2.4 centimeters. Now coming at the back, you've got a reset button. It says what the input is, so five volts, one amp, which is what the power brick is. Frequency is 868, and the USB connection point is just here. So if I flip it over, there you go, it's just there. So the way this would work with the chime is you just plug it straight in like that, and you can just plug it into a wall socket. So interesting design, not seeing it like that, gives the flexibility that you're not restricted to just using the plug here. You could plug it into another USB point you have somewhere else, for instance. Now we have a USB charge cable, so USB at one end, a micro USB at the other end. And in terms of cable length, we've got 1.8 meters. The quality of the cable seems reasonably good. Let's take a look at the video doorbell. So in terms of dimensions, height-wise, it's coming in at 13.3 centimeters. Width is 6.1 centimeters. Up here at the maximum, we've got 3.8 centimeters. And down here at the minimum, we've got 3.4 centimeters. So reasonable size to it. We've got some plastic already stuck on to protect the lens and the sensors. So if I pull those off next, Coming in at the top, you've got the lens, then you've got the PIR, then you've got the speaker, and then the doorbell button. Coming around the side, you've got the microphone, and there, just below that, you've got a rubber seal. If I open that up, you can see a small hole there. That's a status indicator there. You've got the charge point there, so five volts gets plugged in there, and it's a micro USB connection, and the reset point is just underneath. Next thing is to mention is the screw hole here. That's for the security screw and you use a tool over there to tighten that into position. Finish on all this is gray. You've got glossy black around here, coming around the side, still all gray and matte finish on there. Coming around the back, you can see Hello by Homeflow. So if I now pull it off, if the screw is not there, it can come off easily. And in terms of installing, you've got two screw holes there, so literally screw it in place place it in position, put the security screw in there, and then that's it, you're done. Now, 
in terms of build of this it actually feels quite good nice solid strong build to it and we've got some plastic here at the back so if i pull that up it rips as you can see so what it is there's some plastic in there that's separating the battery so what i'll do i'll just open it up we can have a look and that way we can see where the micro sd card can be slotted in so let's remove the screws and there you go that's what that reveals so you can see the two batteries in there and now if i pull the plastic out it comes out now if i pull the batteries out we'll just put a screwdriver in here there you go pop it off and that reveals the micro sd card slot so it doesn't come with a micro sd card but i've got one here which i can insert into this so it's a 32 gig card and that can go just in like so and just using our nail just push it in now just put the batteries back on there so in terms of positioning obviously clearly marked plus and minus and obviously that marries up with that push that on then we screw this back into position so really we're ready to go with this now as the batteries should be active now and the micro sd card is in there let's make a start at setting up this video doorbell so i'm at my android phone here if i click on the play store and we search for home flow that's the app we're after so let's click install and give it a moment the app's installed now so let's click open and next we have to register an account so if i click on register agree to the privacy policy and let me enter my details off camera okay so i've registered an account let me click login and this is what you're initially presented with so to add in this doorbell it's as simple as clicking on the plus there let's go to security and sensors and click smart camera next what we should do is take the video doorbell press the button so you know it's on and take the reset pin and place it into the hole at the bottom just over here and we'll just reset it so we know it's in a position to accept the config if i hold on to that there you go now it's ready to accept the config so if i click next step now it's saying allow home flow to access this device's location i need to select my wi-fi so if i go back for a moment as i've selected that option click over here click next and it's automatically filled it in so next if i enter in my wi-fi password off camera so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click confirm. It's saying a long Wi-Fi name or password. Let's just continue anyway. So now it's telling you that it can only connect to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So let's click continue to that. So now it's saying to use the camera to scan in the QR code onto the actual video doorbell. So if I click continue and we scan in the QR code. There you go. So that's scanned in. I can confirm I heard a prompt let's give it a moment to connect and there you go hello by home flow it's up and running that was pretty quick and there you go working already and just to show picture quality on there now in terms of lag if i move it same with most cameras so about a second okay so now coming back from here that's what you're initially presented with. So there's no other icons or anything next to it. If I go in there now, click to retry, it's connected straight away. Now let's go through the options you have available. So if I click here in the corner, you can change the name of the video doorbell. Just over there, you can change the icon as well if you wanted to. Device information, that will have details like IP address and MAC address. Tap to run an automation. This is if you've set up any automation to work with this. Basic functions, if I click in there, you can flip the screen depending on how you've installed this and you can remove the time watermark. Next we have IR night vision, it's set on auto at the moment. You can turn it off or leave it on permanently. Then below that we've got PIR, currently off, so that's for motion detections or you can set it for low or high. Power management settings, battery remaining 100%, power source is battery and set low battery alarm threshold to 10%. If you wanted it to alert you earlier, you can just change this threshold. Bell settings, chime type, these are different chime types. So you've got digital, mechanical, and none. Bell settings, so you can bind the bell now. So let me show that in a moment. Then we have storage settings that will have the storage details for the micro SD card. Purchase FAS, so this is the cloud-based service, so you could subscribe to get some storage via that. Then you've got share device, so you can share the device with other people, FAQ and feedback, 
firmware, information, and remove device. And that's all the options you have available going back. Now looking in the top left-hand corner, you can see the date, time, then you've got the signal strength there. On the right-hand side, looking below, you've got a speaker icon, and if I click on there, it's got a cross at the moment. Test, one, two, three. So the microphone on the doorbell is picking up my voice, and obviously that's coming through my phone now. You can go to standard definition or high definition, clicking on here, and going to full screen, and you can see the speaker and microphone icons. Going back, now you can see a battery level there, 100%. Now it's saying allow home flow to record audio. So I'll allow that. So when we do use it, I can test it. Okay, now coming below, we've got screenshot. It needs access to the media on my device. So I can say allow to that. Click it now. Screenshot save to phone gallery. Speak. Test, one, two, three. Oh, a lot of feedback, but yeah, that works. Record, so I can initiate a record with that. So you can force it to record. Next we have playback. Got dates on there. You've got record and screenshot. So there's nothing there at the moment. Then we have photo album. This is where you've taken photos. And then cloud storage. This is where you've purchased the cloud storage option and you want it to view the recordings made. And that's all you have there. So there you go. You've seen all the options available in there. Nothing too complex about it and very easy to set up. Next, let me show how to set up the chime. So I've got the power brick here, and if I take the chime and we plug it straight in like so, so that's how it looks. Coming around the other side, we've got a reset button if we run into any issues. So if I plug it straight in now, you can see a blue light's come on. Now, on our Android device, if I click on the video doorbell, click over here in settings, go to bell settings, if we click bell settings and just underneath here there's a button so if I click the reset button you can see it flashing and now while it's flashing if I now click bind there you go it's binded to the chime so now if I click the button here there you go simple as that to get working now there are different ringtones so if I now go to ringtone selection and we pick the next ringtone Click the button. Pick the third one. And finally the fourth one. There you go, as simple as that. So let's go back to the first one. And looking at chime type, if I flip between these, it doesn't do anything, so it just stays on digital. So that's fine, you've got volume control as well. Let me just turn it down, see if that comes into effect. So the volume is lower now. There you go, and that does sound louder. So next, I've got my sound level meter here. So if we go quiet for a moment, Ambient noise levels are around 35.5 decibels. Now, if I move the doorbell slightly to the side, we put it just over the doorbell. So now, if I click the button, so around 87 decibels. Next, let me turn off my Wi Fi, let it connect to 4G as you can see in the corner here. And now, if I Press the button and doorbell. Give it a moment. There you go, someone's knocking. If I click on there, I can click there and I can see a picture of what's just happened there. And if I click on view, you can jump straight to the doorbell. So excellent functionality there. No ports to open up your router and work straight out of the box using cloud-based connectivity. Next, let's test out the PIR on here. So if I go like that, nothing's detected at the moment because it's off. If I go into there, click in the corner here, go to PIR, and let's set it to high initially. And now if we come out, now 
If I scan my hand over the camera, giving the indication there's movement there, give it a moment, and there you go, movement detected. And if I click here, message center, you can see all the instances of movement being detected. And if I click there, there you go, that was my hand scanning across it. And you can see the different times it's occurred. So that's quite useful. So if you wanted to be notified if someone's walking up to your front door, this will pick it up and you'll get a notification. So very useful functionality there. Now, once you've seen them and you didn't want to keep them here for record, you can just click here on the bin icon you can just select them all and delete if you wanted to. Coming back, obviously there's different levels to this. If I come to low as well, go back now, back again, and try a little bit more. Let's see if it picks it up, and there you go, picks it up. Now if I come out of the app, now, as you can see, the light's gone off on the video doorbell. And if I now come close, you see the lights come on. Obviously, it's picked up the motion there. And if we give it a moment, there you go, movement detected. Click on that, jump straight in. You can see the alarm that's been, and you can click on view and see exactly what's happened. So very useful functionality here. So you've got a combination of people coming up and pressing the button on the video doorbell and that will alert you that someone's there. Or if you want it to be made aware, someone coming close to your property, you can do that as well. So at least then you're made aware of who's coming closer. So really good functionality here. Okay, next, I wanted to show the fact that this video doorbell can work with the Smart Life app and to your app. So I've got the Smart Life app here. If I click on it, click on the plus, Go to security and sensors, click on smart camera. And next we need to ensure the device is flashing away, which we can see just here. Now if we click next step, now we just confirm our Wi-Fi details. They look correct, so I can just click confirm. Just warning regarding the long Wi-Fi name or password. Let's just click got it. Next we need to scan in the QR code from our phone onto the camera. So let me do that next. I'll select, I heard a prompt, and there you go. Add it in as quick as that. Click done to that, and there you go. Just to prove, you can see the camera moving. Works perfectly. And looking at the options you have available, you can see just the same again. Next, let's test out and make sure the chime works too. So if I go to settings, bell settings, I'll just hit the reset underneath the chime. So it's flashing away and now if I click bind, that's it, that's done. If I come back now, click the button here, there you go, work straight away. So as you can see, functionality is identical and works just as well. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this video doorbell by HomeFlow. Very simple to set up and configure, even comes with a chime, so you can be notified if someone does press the button, so you don't have to have your phone close by. I like the fact that you're not limited to just using their app, which is a HomeFlow app. You can also use Smart Life and Tuya with this as well. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.